Hi everyone, today I will show you how to create a product category page in WooCommerce Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the product category page, first of all, we have to install the plugin. So let's click on the add new here. So here you just have to write down shop lender. So we have to install this plugin shop lender. So this plugin was previously known as Woo Lender. But right now it is known as a shop lender. So you have to install this plugin. After that, what we need to do, we have to create the categories. Okay. So if you have already created the categories, then you don't need to create the category. Otherwise, you need to create the category for product category page. So let's click on the categories here. And as you can see that we have the two different categories. We have the grocery and we have the juice and also the default one, which is actually uncategorized. Okay. So how can we create the product category page? I just go inside the pages, click on the add new page. So I want to create a specific page for the groceries. Okay. Or the juice. So let's just go for the juice at the moment. So let's just uh, click on the add new in the pages. So let's just write down juice here. Now let's click on the edit with Elementor. Okay, so from here, what we need to do, first of all, I have to add a single column structure here. And in here, I would actually like to add the heading. So the heading would be juice and I have to put this into the center. All right. So now what I need to do, I actually want to add the background color to our container. But first of all, I have to change the content width to the full width. And I have to change the value of height as well. So this would look fine. So I'm going to go with 300 px here. And now what I need to do, I have to put the title into the center. So let's click on the center here in the justify content. Now let's just click on the styles. And in the styles, I have to add the background image. So I'll go inside the free images and here I would simply search for juice here or right, so I think I would go with this one. All right, so let's click here. You would be able to see our background image here, but we have to change the position of our background image. So that would be center, center. All right. And display size would be cover and repeat would be no repeat. Okay, so we have added the background image and I also have to add the background overlay. Okay, so let's just click here and I would actually go with the dark color here. This is looking fine. Now I have to change the color of our heading here. So that would be white color. Okay, so now this is looking better. Okay, so now what we need to do, we have to add a new container here. So this would be one column structure and here I have to search for universal product layout of the Woo Lender or the Shop Lender. So we'll just drag this and put this here. All right. So as you can see here, we are having the products of the t-shirt. So we have to add the category here. So that would be the juices. Okay. So since we only have the two products of the juice category, that is why we are having the product of the groceries. Okay. Uh, so now what we need to do. Okay. So now you can see here, we have the different options here. Exclude out of the stock item. We have the exclude hidden item and the custom order. So if I just go inside the layout, you can see this in the layout. We have the slider. We have the tab. We have the default. So if I just click on the tab here, you will be able to see the tab of the category. And if I just click on the slider here, you will be able to see the slider if we have the multiple products. Okay, so let's write down the grocery here as well. And if I just increase the number to the six, so now you can see this, we have the slider here. All right, so this is how we can use the slider. And if I just wanted to use the tab again. All right, so now in the tab, as you can see here, we are having the groceries and the juice as well. Okay, so if I just click on the juice, you will be able to see the juice products and if I just click on the groceries, you will only be able to see the groceries here. Since we have the less number of products in the juices, that is why we are having the groceries product, but you get the idea here. 
So from here, I can also change the number of the columns. And after that, we have the content setting. So in the content setting, we actually have the different styles here. So we can go with the style one, two, three, and four. So let's click on the style two. Let's just go for the three. And at last, let's just go for the four. Okay, so I think this one looks better. And I actually want to hide the category since we already know the category of the product. All right. And we can also hide the heading from here. We can hide the category under border. We can hide the price. We can hide the title from here if we want to. After that, we have the action button settings. So in the action button settings, as you can see here, these are the action button settings. So you can see the style. You can see the show on. So right now we have the normal. So if I just put this on the hover, you will only be able to see these buttons when I hover over the product. So we have the different styles here. You can see here we have the style one, two, and three. So let's go for the style two. Now you can see this. We have this background color over our action buttons. All right. And we also have the option to change the position of our action buttons. And in the last, we also have the add to cart button if you want to show this. And now we have the image settings. So in the image setting, we have the thumbnail style that is the single image. We also have the image slider and we also have the gallery tab. So if I just click on the gallery tab, you would be able to see the gallery images of that product if the images exist. Other than that, you will only be able to see the single image here. So you can also use the image slider here as well. Right now, let's just go with the single image. And in the last, we also have the option of countdown settings. Okay, so if you want to show the countdown timer, you can also enable this as well. Alright, so at the moment, I actually want to change the layout to the default. This is looking better. And now I have to add some spacing here. So let's go in the advanced. And we can add the margin at the top. So this would be 40. Okay, so this is looking better. Alright. Now let's just go inside the style. Okay, so in this styling, you can add the padding, you can add the margin. Okay, so if I just write down the 10 here or 20 here, you will be able to see the padding between our products. So right now, I'll just simply go with the default value. All right, you can see this. We have the border color, we have the hover box shadow color. So if you want to change the hover box shadow, you can change the value from here. We have the content area, and in the content area, we have the padding, we have the background color, we have the border type, we have the product page. So we can also change the color of the page color, out of stock page color and the page background. And we can even change the typography of the product page here. After that, we have the product categories. So if you want to change the typography of the product category, you can simply change it. You can change the category color. You can change the category hover color. And after that, we have the product title. We have the same settings of the product title as like the product categories. So we have the typography, title color. And we have the title hover color. So we also have the product price. So in the product price, we have the sale price color and we have the regular price color. So if you want to change the value of the color, you can simply change it. We have the typography as well. We have the margin. We have the product rating. And in last, we can also change the styling of our action button here. Okay, so in the action button, we have the similar kind of the options. The border type, box shadow, and we have the tool tip. So what is the tool tip? As you can see this add to cart text and quick view text. So this is actually the tooltip. So we can also change the color of it and we can also change the background color of the tooltip as well. And you can also explore these other actions here. Alright, so right now I think we are good with the design here of our product category page. Okay, so if I just click on the publish and click on a have a look, now you will be able to see our product category page of the juice in the similar way we can also create the product category page of groceries and other categories if we have all right so this is how it works and this is how we can create the product category page in woocommerce elementor if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel